All right, welcome back to a project we haven't worked on for a while. It, I mean, it's been probably two months now, but start to work on the death cat. So last time we touched it, we had it working ish. It was kind of working. It was enough. It was idling, chugging along, and pip, 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 pip. hopefully I'm playing something now. Um, because last thing we did was we installed the fuel tank, a filter, and kind of had it running. Except for the fact that when you sit here in the seat, you kind of get um, fuel shot in. Uh, seeing how the carburetor is the problem, what I've done, I bought a new one. Now, from what I could tell, it was pretty much the same one, but we're really gonna have to take it off to see if it does fit. Um, and after we change that, I've got to move where the fuel tank is because, uh, so the it empties out here, comes down into the carb. But as you can see, it's kind of, it's not much of a slope. So gravity isn't really helping and fuel's not exactly getting there. The fuel that does get there gets shot at you, but whatever. So what I'm gonna do instead, instead of using this nice new brackets that I made to sit it here, I'm gonna make something that I really don't know where it's supposed to go. So instead of being nice, nicely where I made, you know, brackets and stuff like that for it to sit, I gotta work out a new spot to put it because there's not enough fuel getting into the actual, uh, you know, spot where the fuel's supposed to go. Yeah, so maybe potentially what I can do is kind of modify this this bracket a little bit and kind of lift it up to really hit its max. I kind of wanted some space for your hand to sit, but whatever, that's not exactly an issue anymore. Uh, I, I guess I guess fuel getting into the engine is the first issue. So I'll replace that, replace the carb. So another thing we need to do is actually replace the lines. Oh my god, this is stiff. When I first got it, it was squishy and elastic. But the fuel has just made it just fall apart. And as you can see right here at this uh, this joint, it's just broken. Uh, so how about we get some uh, fuel lines that are actually meant for fuel? That could be a, that could be a good idea. Out. Uh, it's pretty, pretty dirty in there. But now that we've got it out, we can actually have a quick look. At least from what I can see, it's a lot cleaner than uh, the initial first uh, first time I saw it. First time I saw it, it was very dirty. And now, I mean, you can still see a bit of rust, a little bit of leftover whatevers. But I think actually being able to run it for a little bit in the last last video has kind of cleaned it up a little bit. So I'm kind of happy about that. Turns out this carburetor is Perfect, it fits onto the pipe, whatever you're called, little intake pipe thingy. Uh, it attaches to that really nice, and I've trimmed the uh, the choke lever because <laughs> there's like no space in here. So you pretty much have to take off the little, there's like a little tab that comes off to make it easier to flick. I had to cut off that just to make it fit in there. But after that, it just sits in there nice and calm. So, time to bolt it up. Put the uh, the springy throttle thingy in, just the throttle, and that's all we need. So basically, the intake at the moment has a lot of fuel and air just like coming in here, which is basically just directed at the rider. And it's not great for airflow because if you think about it, you're going straight, and there should be air going in in the front, but this is faced backwards. So. <laughs> Bear with me, my brain is really slow today. So, what our plan is, we're gonna get the intake that is face backwards, we're going to loop it around, and have it come towards the front. So, we sit around here, I kinda wanna put, I, I think I wanna put an air, like it would look cool, and it might do something. Um, so, now we've gotta figure out all the angles we're gonna use for this pipe to cut into it, to kinda shape it. Is it I might as well try and do something nice and, and make it look fancy with the uh, pie cuts and stuff like that, though this is not gonna be like some fancy titanium exhaust. This is steel that I just found that I will make work. 
Right, so this is basically what we're going to be looking at. We're going to be looking at, so you have the intake that's going to go up a bit. I'll work that out later. Up a bit, meet this, uh, I guess, lobster tail kind of thingy. It's going to reach around and then you're going to have the long pipe and then with the filter at the end. Now, degrees or not, but I think it's close enough. So we've got that degrees. Let's start cutting out all these little bits out of the, uh, out of the pipe. close it's kind of what I'm after or I can cut it off shorter kind of I'm gonna have to work out a piece it's not exactly straight a piece just to join those two I think after that that's exactly what I'm after <laughs> right now that's pretty cool I've just got a mallet holding it up at the moment but I did have to kind of bridge across the world they'll be fine it's like it's, it's not like this is like a performance vehicle or anything like that that will nicely just kind of sit over top of the lip of that Go into here, go across here, I'll then cut, I don't know, like here or something like that. Put like a filter on it. Maybe I'll bring the filter back to here. Then what I'll do to actually hold everything, because the thing is, I'm not going to require, uh, I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to re rely on uh, on the uh, carb actually holding the pipe. So I'm going to make like a little bracket that comes here. Clamps on there, just bolts through, just kind of locks it in place. And then just the other side will willy-nilly just sit on top of that if it rattles too much i'll work it out later maybe i might make like a piece that like holds it to the frame or something but i think just locking it in here with one bolt and then just sitting uh, snugly in the uh carb should be enough to kind of hold it in place all right let's clean this up yeah surprisingly for us as bad as all these i mean that they're, they're right welds Problem was, I'm using a welder that's like turned up all the way and can't be turned down. So it's been burning through everything. But this is probably the best I can do out of it. I mean, it looks very average and does not look anything like the pie cuts you see on TV. But when I was putting the water in, it pretty much, it filled up and had a small leak. So I mean, with, with, with that, I'm pretty happy with that because it means it's, it's fairly tight, even though it doesn't need to be airtight. was pretty average but i've been able to kind of shape it and it looks looks almost as if i did it on purpose uh i can't be bothered trying to clean the inside of that that's that's too bad but once we paint it it should look good all right so i've lifted the fuel tank here originally it was like down here now it's all the way up as high as i can get without getting my hands in the way with the wheel so hopefully now when there's flow down into the carb it oh you can see it's on that angle already and the way i've got it on the fork it's already leaning forward so that's already going to be better than that so hopefully that's enough just to kind of get it down but i won't know till next video because i have to order some fuel lines just to uh, 
to get back to the uh, the little filter and then uh, then into the carb. The intake is in. Uh, I kind of played around with the design a little bit. <laughs> Tried to make it look better because like, I don't know, well, you saw before the welds were just bad. And then I played around with some, put clear on the, uh, on the, uh, on the chrome before it's set. Kind of, it's made it even look more like a, a lobster or something like that. It's kind of cool. And then there's, you know, the pointless filter that I should probably take off because there's already going to be that much, like, particulate just sitting in the pipe that's going to go into the engine anyway. But whatever. All right, so that's the end of today. Um, I know it's not running yet, but we're that close now. I just need to do the fuel line and that's it. So in the next video, it's going to be running and it's going to be driving. So that's it. We've had it running. We haven't had it driving. I'll see you next time. Comment, follow me. Goodbye.